If you want a typical African tree, you couldn't get much more typical than this one. This is Monanga, otherwise known as Kova Kova, otherwise known as Chikwiku, sometimes called white thorn, mostly called hook thorn. Technical scientific name, Acacia polyacantha, or should I say Senegalia polyacantha. Poly meaning many, cantha meaning thorns. How's it guys? I am Gus the African plant hunter. I am here on lockdown doing my best to get out of my house, walking out in the bush just next to my home, doing a little series on trees of the Miombo woodland. And this is one of my very favorite, though really hard to touch because even the stem is covered in thorns. Okay, and a quick word on nomenclature. This is called Senegalia. Uh, well, no, the English term is white thorn, or one of the English terms. And the reason for that is these little tiny white hairs on the branches. It's called Senegalia. Those of you in the know will recall that uh, within the last decade, all the African acacias had their names changed either to Vichelia or Senegalia. And what's the difference? Well, the Vichelias have um, capitate inflorescences. So those little round balls uh, and they have stipular spines. Whereas the Senegalias have spicate inflorescences. So more kind of spiky. And then they have uh, these little hook, non, not related uh, prickles, not related to the stipules. Uh, so that's the difference. Unfortunately, it happened. We have to go with the new names. You can call this acacia as a kind of anglicization of it, but the correct botanical name is Senegalia. That's it and no more about it. So this beautiful tree is found all over Africa. It's also found in India and even over in the West Indies. Uh, grows very tall, up to 20 meters high, very spectacular tree, nitrogen fixing, often found on alluvial soils, an indicator of good soils. Uh, and of course, beware of these prickles uh, all along the stem. So even though it's got this beautiful peeling bark, it's those prickles that will really tell you. Those of you trying to scratch your head and remind yourself what's the difference between a prickle and a thorn, well, the difference is that a prickle doesn't have any vascular tissue in, so you can just pull it off. Whereas a thorn does, and it's therefore actually an integral part of the tree. So I've got some well-documented medicinal uses for this tree. As I said, it is found all over Africa. In this part of the world, it's particularly known the root bark as a treatment for snake bite. Uh, it's also a general tonic. Um, and a, a solution is used to bathe children that are uh, unhappy and unsettled. Um, also used to treat venereal diseases. And then the leaf, uh, a decoction from the leaves is used to treat gastric problems and dysentery. Also a beautiful timber species, grows really fast, makes excellent charcoal. But my final and perhaps most favorite use of this tree is as a host to the African silk moth. Makes beautiful, beautiful silk. All right, guys, that's it. This is Gus, the African plant hunter. I've been talking about this tree from the Miombo woodland, Senegalia polyacantha. If you like what you see, there's plenty more on my Facebook, Instagram, YouTube channel, africanplanthunter.com. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will catch you again. Take it easy. Bye.